I'm laying down in bed and I have the windows open and I can feel the wind coming into the room. And as I'm in this weird hypnagogic state, I find myself being taken out of body and I'm, I'm now floating, looking at my physical body whilst the wind that came in through the window turns into four beings, literally. They each enter into my chest, because there's a, there's a hole in my chest, a physical body. And the last one to come in takes me and pulls me in side along with it. Over the past few months, I've been focusing on Qigong and it's allowed me to discover some interesting things. It's also led me to certain spirits that I'd like to expose in this video. <laughs> I like to study a lot, not just online, but I mean like I like to take an aspect of something, whether it be astral projection, qigong, or some other topic. And I like to hyper-focus on that aspect to the point where I start to discover new things about my topic of interest. And it was my curiosity about qigong and what it does to the body, how it alivens the body, that had me encounter things that live outside. Matter of fact, they're all around you and they do certain things without you knowing. You see, I actually tell you what I did. I realized that when you get out of bed in the morning, sitting up out of bed automatically makes you feel good. And that when you stretch, this stretching exercise actually quickens the body and the mind, right? And then I started to connect stretching, just natural stretching that people mostly do unconsciously, heck even yawning, to certain movements in Qigong practices and how those movements are known to wake you up, right? When you do things like this, palms to the sky or the universe and you come down, it's very much just like when you do this in the morning, right? Now, I know a little bit about science, and I know that if you have an erect spine, it allows the body and the mind to turn on a little bit faster, because when you're erect, your adrenal glands turn on, signaling to the body and to the brain that you're now alert and awake. When you lie down parallel to the ground, your adrenal glands turn off and you fall asleep, okay? You see, there is a lot to stretching and yawning and, and movement that just goes over our head for the most part. And so I start to make these connections to movements, steady, slow movements, to stretching that wakes you up, and, and then some. And then I brought up the fact that when I'm outside, I feel good. Everyone does. When you smell fresh air, it feels great, right? It kind of wakens you up as well. And so as I'm outside and I'm moving, as if I'm getting out of my bed and I'm stretching, as if I'm waking up for the first time, I'm doing it on repeat, I'm gradually waking myself up more and more and more, and I'm having this compounding effect to the point where by which I feel like I'm being electrified <laughs> awake, I'm very alert. And not only that, but outside is making me feel nice and fresh. And as I'm doing this for about a month, I notice that I start to run with my conscience. A part of my mind that often tells me to do the right thing, everyone has one, it's louder. And it keeps getting louder the more that I do Qigong. Not only that, but I get calmer and calmer and calmer because my body is being shifted into homeostasis by my environment around me. About a week later, I noticed that my conscience, my better judgment, feels like it's resonating at the same frequency of nature. And every time I do Qigong, the nature around me comes more and more into the body and it wakes up this part of me that's naturally in resonance with everything outside. So you see what's happening here. It was connecting to a part of me that was already in harmony and this part of me that was already in harmony was my conscience, which is why it was giving me such good advice because it was calm, it was clear, it was able to perceive things from multiple perspectives without being influenced by any other emotion. And gradually, as the days went by, my conscience became me. And I felt like I 
was the thing in harmony with everything. Then stuff got really weird. I'm laying down in bed and I have the windows open and I can feel the wind coming into the room. And as I'm in this weird hypnagogic state, I find myself being taken out of body and I'm now floating, looking at my physical body whilst the wind that came in through the window turns into four beings, literally. They each enter into my chest, because there's a, there's a hole in my chest, my physical body. And the last one to come in takes me and pulls me inside along with it. This area, if you don't know what astral projection is, it's when you leave your body at will and you travel the, well, the afterlife, the astral plane. And the reason as to why I bring up what an astral projection is, is because there are a lot of ways to leave your body. You can slide out, you can exit out the top of your head, as an orb, you know, and there are portals in the body where you can go into and show up somewhere else. This one here, the chest, the hole in my, in my chest, every time I've gone through there, a being or a group of entities have taught me something that I can actively use outside, you know, here in 3D. And so the last one grabs me and pulls me into my body along with them, and I'm taken to an event that happened at least a week ago, whereby which my daughter scratched me, turned around, and then instantly ran into the couch. Now most people would laugh at something like that and say, ha, instant karma. I'm not quite like that. She's gonna do a lot of silly things because she has no external spatial awareness. For example, she stands in bowls of food all the time because she doesn't know what's around her, right? I just talked it up to her being two. But what these beings were showing me was that same experience that happened a week ago, only this time with their involvement. You see, they showed me her scratching my leg, and then as she turned around, they actually rotated her body towards the couch. It wasn't just that experience that they showed me. They kept showing me multiple experiences over and over and over again. And they were trying to teach me as to how they are the ones responsible for what happens to people out in the world. And yeah, they believe in good and bad. And so if you're doing something bad, they're gonna make sure that you experience something unfortunate pretty much soon after, if not within the following day, you know? You go to snap your friend and run away, you end up stepping in cow crap. Stuff like that, they're doing that on purpose. Now, I, I probably sound crazy, and I wouldn't have believed it if I didn't see it, but they showed me experiences that I've actually lived only with their involvement. After that, I was very careful as to what I said and what I did around people. The spirits, the golden karma spirits are around. And, and I use that phrase because spirit is usually the thing that's around us. It's omnipresent. It knows everything, right? I just didn't think that it could section itself up like it did and materialize itself as a multitude of beings. Now, to get a better idea as to what this looks like, there is a Prime, an Amazon Prime series called His Dark Materials. Within it, there are spirits that behave in a very same way. Matter of fact, in their universe, they call it dust instead of chi. And this dust also materializes itself as a multitude of spirits. I know what you're probably thinking. Hey, he saw it on TV. That's why he's having this experience. No, no. No, 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 I did not connect the dots. Matter of fact, I didn't even believe such a thing was real. It was on a TV show, right? Not only that, but dust in his dark materials materializes itself as angels in that universe. Whereas here, chi, life force, prana, I don't, I don't know what these things were. I'm just going to keep calling them karma spirits. They made one more appearance shortly after that. I was doing Qigong downstairs. I was feeling kind of low energy. And so I just want to pick myself up. But I do this every now and then to make myself feel better. As I'm doing it, I'm kind of in this uh, mental rut of sorts. I'm trying to think myself through. And I feel again, the same intelligence come through the window. Only this time, it takes me to what I can only assume is the back of my head. I'm looking down at my body and I'm hollow, like an empty vessel. 
And within my hollow body, I'm seeing this film. It's kind of like an eggshell, but on the inside of my body, and I can see through it. And this filament is representative of my thoughts, more specifically, who I think I am, and, and, and what I think my place in the world is. And these spirits are telling me that this thought inside my body is all made up. It's, it's all just my perception. I knew this before, but I, I never saw it like this. I usually say that there's how we see a situation, there's how the situation actually is, and then there's how the other person sees a situation in regards to an argument, right? Say a relationship, quarrel, miscommunication, essentially. They just have a different perception on what's going on, and that perception lies within their bodies within their minds will turn it inward on ourselves we also have a perception of ourselves in the moment and who we are not just what we think is happening within relationships and we're on a completely different page but with ourselves and our place in the universe we think we are who we are but other people see us as something else and how we actually show up in the world is a mystery to us unless we're completely aware of it so they show me this, and I just choose not to listen to my own perception of myself, and instead just to do what I want. And I felt better, and the weeks progressively got better.